Hi, welcome to this tutorial. We are going to install Awesome on Arco Linux and Arco Linux D to be precise. Meaning, if we take a look at our website, which is changed to arcolinux.info, you'll see that there is uh, two versions possible and there's a version that has lots of gigabytes, which is two gigabytes more or less. It's complete, it's themed, it's have fun, set your desktop, set your icon, set your theme, done. Arco Linux D is a minimal one. It's not themed at all. You have to do a lot of work. You have to learn. So that's the idea to make and follow a script and change scripts. So it becomes more and more your own ISO, your own um, distro. Okay. Now, Arco Linux information is our information website where you find news about releases and so on. The main page you need to check out is Arco Linux Editions because here uh, all the things that are necessary for you to start and the most asked questions and the need to know stuff and of course also what changes. So what changed in Arch Merge 6.5.1 compared to? So also there will always be some kind of summary video telling okay guys this changes that changed because that's an improvement and that's why it's out and so on. So all these elements here are then explained again in text, what we did to boost your system and that there is a script and so on. So all this information is here, a very important website, uh, page, I mean. Now, if we are, well, we're releasing normally on a monthly basis, uh, vacations may be ex excluded, but in beta versions we have here, uh, so during the month we're making extra versions, extra ISOs, and we're making changes. So if you want, you can follow up. Okay, what did they do? So this is going to be in Arco Linux 6.6. .6. And what did we do? These things have uh, been changed already. So it's already in the eye. So I will make probably more. And at some point in time, we say click in time. We make our ISOs and say this is going to be 6.6. .6. And then you know already what's more or less inside. Then we'll make an article about it. And it's coming in here with a change, but this is rather specific because we're going to have a major change. Arch Merge will be forgotten. There is no Arch Merge anymore, no Facebook, no Google+, no Twitter, and no GitHub. That's the main thing. So we're really going to break this time and do a clean install of Arco Linux. The 1st of April, the ISO will be released on SourceForge. Okay, what else? Well, we have here other forums or other uh, sites. There's a forum for all your questions. And there is arcolinux.com. That's for the big ISO, 2 gigabytes ISO. And you can have all the information here about any of these elements. First start here, it sounds obvious. And then general trying to, well, make categories where you can find your stuff in. And of course, there is an a search that is here up here so you can check that out as well what's very interesting is our is the fixes very interesting indeed lots of information about how to master your linux system and then arco linux d is the website for our smaller iso which is a base installation and the d stands for develop document different diverse but most of all, you decide the desktop. So whatever desktop you desire, you just install those. And we are currently working with the awesome um, desktop. And we'll make more like PSP, WM, etc. etc. So again, some information what Arco Linux is and Arco Linux D is. And we have then the GitHubs. So like I said, Arch Merge GitHub delete. So that means we really need to cut well, the, the time in 1st of April will be our um, well a moment that we cut off from Arch Merge and we delete all that and we go over to Arco Linux. So there are two GitHubs. There is this uh, information, well, general information about uh, how we make Arco Linux and also our repos. And the other one is a more important one for now because we need to have scripts to install these 20 or so desktops on our Arco Linux D. So the base ISO. And we install anything that's in here and we're going to download in a few seconds 
and go awesome so it's coming from here so you know okay right that was the intro now it's if you have already done the installation of um, any of the other desktop environments on Arch Merge D, it's going to be very, very similar, of course. So, Arch Linux login. We're going to login at the proper screen, Eric. Dual screen makes that a little bit strange from time to time. Just repeat it. When you do a complete uh, installation of Arch Merged, in this case, Arch Linux D, then the first thing you do is mirror. Meaning, check out here in my neighborhood what are the fastest Arch Linux servers. We're not looking for the Arco Linux. We are uh, an operating system that's based on three elements. I better show that as well here. It's quite important because I'm going to use it in a few seconds from now. I've made this nice little sign. So you know that Arco Linux is Arch Linux. Then packages from the AUR, Arch User Repository. It's coming from GitHub, it's coming from Debian, yes, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, RPM, Red Hat, compressed files like Tor GZ and Zip and whatever, anything compressed, and all that together is uh, what we call Arco Linux, all right? What we do next as well, uh, probably, is something like this. We're going to update our system and see what's new. And as you can see, there are lots of stuff we need to update. And there's a kernel in there, if you noticed. The name Linux is quite important if you see something called Linux and then a number behind it, like that one. That's now, you see now, that's the one we uh, we build on. That's Linus Torvalds. That's his project from years ago. And that's the kernel. Now, my, I think, sound philosophy or common sense is when there is a kernel coming in, I always do sudo reboot. I first stop with everything and check is the kernel working as promised or good. And, um, well, that's my advice to you. Just do that. So, system works. Fine. New kernel. Thanks. But now we need to get all the information from this awesome or for this awesome desktop okay it's always the same procedure we're going to git clone from a specific place called github.com we are Arco Linux and is created for the smaller ISO so with a D we decide what desktop we take D and then we are Arco dash awesome. So it's always Arco with a dash and then i3, XFCE, Cinnamon, Gnome, Mate, awesome. Enter. And then we have all the scripts in our system. LS, yes, there is a folder we go into, like so. LS. And it's very simple. You go from the first, uh, the lowest number to the highest number, and that's it, basically. Yeah, you just keep running. Uh, scripts. Now the first one is going to install the display manager, which is good, so LightDM, and also of course awesome. But there's a little line in there just to update, but we just did an update, so it's just skipping ahead. So here you see at the top more or less awesome and vicious. Two applications, two apps we're gonna need to run everything. Now we do NLS again and maybe you want, want uh, some sound on your system so we are going to install the sound system with lots of scripts these guys are still coming from arch itself still arch linux i'm going to tell you where everything is coming from that might be interesting ls bluetooth just i see a typo just press enter doesn't matter you need to put a slash, of course. I always do that. Just enter it. All right. Arrow up, you can see what you have done. 
the link to the printers. I do like to have my printer available. Still on watch. Alice. Samba is maybe something you don't want. Um, I'll run it anyway. So what's Samba? Samba is a um, way. Okay, they wait for my name and my passwords and my password. Okay, um, Samba is a way to share my files with somebody else. Okay, so there is somewhere in your home network a person with a computer and he wants, she wants to get to your computer. Then you need Samba. Samba is sharing to have a folder that you share for somebody, somebody else. Okay. So if if that's not uh, gonna happen, then you don't install Samba. It's quite long as well. Uh, so I'm gonna pause here to spare some time. Okay, that's finished. Ls arrow up. 140 was the last one. 150 is the next one. And now we see all the computers in our network. That's 150. Checking out, hey, who is around me and getting to NAS clients and, and, and computers in your network. All right. Now let's we go for 200 and then 300. Now, this name is already mm, still okay. Meaning it says software Arch Linux. Meaning, and let's use our time to explain you something. Take a look at our pacman.conf. The pacman.conf and yours as well will have a list of places. They called it repositories. And we have the core, just that, so you know the name, core, extra, community, and multilab. And if you want to help Arch Linux and you want to uh, test out things and then give feedback and say, hey guys, uh, this is not working because of that and that and that. Then you can try out these testings as well. Testing repos, testing repos for community and uh, give feedback. But these guys are still Arch. This is Arch Linux core extra community multilab. At some point in time, we have uh, will need our own repo. So the Arco Linux packages. So this is what I mean with this image. When we say we're taking Arch, then it's definitely defined in pacman.conf. I mean, here it is. This is Arch. And we're going to install AOR elements. That's not visible here. But this is visible as well. So the two logos, this element is visible here. So that's this repo. And we're going to install it later on. While he's working, we can teach a little bit how the system works. Now, if we, as beta testers and as developers, say, hey, let's test this package out, then we'll say to each other, hey, put the hashtag away, delete this, and delete that, and delete that, and then we're going to test out some new packages that we've created. That's our personal repo testing. Um, so we can try it out before it gets to the community. So this is how it works. With this um, configuration file, you get information from different places. All right, talked long enough, so the script is done. Now, the number 300, let's talk about AWAR. That's gonna take even longer, the script of AWAR. Well, first of all, all these scripts can be changed. That's very important for you to know. We do not have an, uh, it's not obligatory to keep all these scripts. If you say, oh, I don't like caffeine is now installed. I don't want caffeine. Put the hashtag in front of caffeine, run the script. Caffeine won't be installed. Simple as that. So the idea is we give our work, which is sometimes months of work to make scripts and we keep improving it on uh, a regular basis. So it's uh, really, well, the, the intention is, is to, to have a perfection, but of course we are still human, so there will be mistakes in there and typos and all that, but we'll fix it over time. We see these typos too and we'll fix them. But 
I want to tell you that a war. What is that? So if we Google that a war Arch Linux, you should be aware that's the what we're talking about is this middle element, and we are full time installing packages from the a war. Okay. Now I just saw the name temps. Let's just take something as an example. This is an a war, and that's um, a way to take a look. So I think about three years ago, I took my first step in Arch Linux, I think. And I went to look here and I said, oh, what's this? And OK, we can click on votes. Oh, that's interesting. That means that I can see how many people have voted on Yoast, Dropbox. This is Microsoft fonts, Google Chrome, Android, Spotify, TeamViewer and so on. So I did page by page by page by page. I checked out what applications are available on Arch. And then I said, hmm, interesting. OK, popularity, the same thing. Just check out what popularity is. There are explanations here, how they calculate it. But anyway, the most important thing is what you like. So do check it out. What uh, is available here on this, uh, uh, well, um, catalog. Actually, this AOR is, is, a, is an uh, encyclopedia of all software we can install on Arch Linux, basically. Now, one of the interesting parts is that AUR is actually not Arch, not into, not in my eyes. I'll explain myself. We have a system, which is a great system, to change packages that come from everywhere. They can come from, like this one, Spotify. Let's have a look, quick technical look here. It comes not from Arch. It comes from the company Spotify.com, and they provide us a Debian file, my friends. Debian is, yes, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, and so on. And we have a way, a great way, to repackage that. So we download it, and we do stuff with it, and it ends in the right places, and we can start Spotify, basically. That's what the AOR is. It gathers information from the net from different places. Let's take this one. Trison is a new AOR helper we have included now on the ISO. Where is it coming from? On the GitHub. And it's an actually a compressed file, targz. So there are so many sources and resources from the internet that are all here um, well collected and maybe more importantly maintained by persons. I mean these people do it for free, that's one, uh, voluntary, without asking any money. But what happens is that um, GitHub's get updates, numbers will change, and you have to be aware that AOR is not actually Arch Linux. It's um, a system to get information or applications on your system. So if something breaks, and that's my point, that's why I explain all this, if it breaks. It's not Arch Linux's. It's um, the reason it's not Arch Linux or Arco Linux. It means that there is a difference or a, a change, whatever the change is between what used to be and what is now. And that's the reason why uh, packages in AOR break. Okay. Typically, it will well two three days, and then this package build will be updated by the maintainer but of course you never know people are on holiday they can be sick they are marrying etc etc so it might take a while before the package build is updated and that's why we have also these fixes so i told you about these fixes and uh, the interesting part about the fixes is that you learn to analyze what the problem is and then at some point realize hey i can fix this myself if that's the only problem with the AUR package, I can fix that, you see? So I'm trying to um, teach you more about uh, how to well, work around some of the problems that we have. And those are typically uh, things that, well, not always, but often come from the AUR. I see already two AUR things here, AUR and here AUR, AUR, 
you see so it pays off to check out these uh, tutorials or explanations about the fixes even if they do not exist anymore because like i said when an error occurs well take two three days later and it's fixed so and it's just a small pain to to endure wait a few days and everything is okay just be patient okay that's uh, my aur speech uh, let's um, pause the video here and then go back okay the aur repository is done number 300 let's go to number 400 and that's software arch linux repo distro specific so we, in this list we're going to put packages that we say hey this is more wait a moment all right so what was i saying we have in this script all the applications coming from arch linux but are distro specific so that's the the goal the idea of the system all right so 500 is aur again so things might crash because these are coming from aur now what's also interesting to know is there is at the top of the script let's take a look at the scripts so if you download Arco Linux awesome the script that is number 500 just anything really goes as an example just want to show you this so it's in the video set minus e will break your script meaning if there's an error it stops if you say um well the error is for instance in this one and you still need to install these well just say here hashtag out and then it will it will see the error and continue with the next installation so that's maybe an option for you at some point in time when you say hey i want to install 30 elements and it stops already at the first one so you hashtag that out all right ls arrow up 500 this is the the 600 actually is the software from arco linux repo meaning this is our own github this is coming from here this is coming from arco linux and our repo is here arco linux repo so this is what we talked about this is this sign number 600 is actually the work we've put in it okay so it's going to install lots of elements from uh, arco linux the arc themes all the colors are coming in let's go over it the awesome package is going in it's too fast to read <laughs> the root and the slimlock themes is now installing uh, what else oh very good very good so things like this can happen and it says operation too slow less than one bytes etc so it can be that um, github is is choking actually and you say hey come on try again my friend so it's a connection that uh, is a bit too slow and then it says hey i can't follow up i can't follow you and then he stops everything just uh, like you see it just works if you retry all right ls if you want to have some extra funds and yes we do want to have some funds um, they're nice for conkeys nice for anything really 700 unless there are also conkeys in there for awesome i remember 800 auto login version 3. okay this means that i like to be um, when i press my power button i just want to be on my desktop not the login manager, which we also call the display manager. No, I don't want to be tested that I still know my password. Nobody touches here my computer. I'm at home. No problem. On a laptop, that's something else. So here you go. What's your login? He asks. Hey, my name is Eric. And now we, I can auto login. As easy as that. Now some of, some of us have this Intel microcode error, and that's not due to Arch or Arco Linux or anybody, but uh, we need to have these, we need to rerun this script and then there is no error more at the, at the beginning. Now in VirtualBox, I shouldn't do it, 
but okay here's the example that's what you do I want to have the breeze cursor everywhere so wherever I move so this is the breeze cursor by the way wherever I move in my system it has to be that one consistency you know and when I log out there's a key combination I want to have the OB logout icon so these big gray icons the list of six seven icons I don't know and then up oh, that's set as well and if we install the standard stuff standard locking system you get this well, red kind of lock screen now of course we want our own lock screen so I'm gonna say oh forget about the old lock screen we want the Arco Linux lock screen so that being said we are now um, set to restart because I always restart now and there's still a personal folder that you could run I'm going to see that in the next video but restarting is something we do right now what did we install do we have awesome or not I think and tada is in order here you can see that we have now a complete working system and for your convenience we have here a conkey it's not really necessary to have conkeys that's uh, of course a personal preference it's up to you to decide what you want on your system but conkeys for tiling window manager are not really appropriate between uh, glamours is that the word um, but here you have lots of information that is provided here as well about temperature and out about speed and all that look and go um, so yeah this information here as well but it's primarily there for your shortcuts so if we want to know more about shortcuts then super s is really going to help this is the overview the summary of awesome super s now you can try to find your way around and uh, super f12 for instance you can start running applications but of course i never use that since uh, take a look everything is here tunar catfish evolution of firefox chrome compton toggle spotify pulse audio vivaldi atom so a lot of elements a lot of stuff we all need is in there and of course you can change those elements okay concluding this video we have awesome installed now second one is this personal folder what shall i do about that